Good morning. Uh, I'm uh, happy to speak a bit about our familial implications um, sub work group, uh, which is a subgroup of both the Return of Results LC uh, work group in eMERGE as well as the Outcomes uh, work group in eMERGE. And so we sort of bridge those two uh, groups. Let me see. Oh, yep, I did. Sorry about that. Okay, so this, uh, the familial implications uh, subgroup came about as we uh, were all talking about the fact that we were um, feeling challenged about how to best approach uh, family members of the individuals for whom we return positive uh, pathogenic, likely pathogenic variants um, through the uh, eMERGE sequencing work. And so out of this came uh, a, uh, this subgroup with some uh, specific aims that I'll go through here. First um, aim was to explore the attitudes of participants by convening uh, focus groups and or qualitative interviews. And as Kathy just described, they're doing some qualitative interviews at University of, of Washington uh, Kaiser Group Health. But we um, also are doing uh, uh, patient perspective uh, interviews at Geisinger, as well as some uh, deliberative engagement uh, types of focus groups. And what uh, we are aimed at um, looking at in this, uh, in the familial, <coughs> excuse me, Im familial implications group is to um, assess how our patients or our participants see the importance of sharing information, um, what kinds of targeted information they feel would be useful in helping them to educate family members, what do they find to be barriers to effective communication, and what are their preferences or even suggestions on new ways or methods, strategies to contact relatives. The second specific aim for our work group is to uh, conduct surveys um, involving some standardized validated components um, that will be used across all sites as well as um, surveys that perhaps um, are a little more in depth at, at some of the sites. And this is a, to assess, again, fairy, family sharing or communication activities. And so some sites have started with baseline uh, pre-results uh, disclosure surveys. All sites will be doing uh, a uh, include a small number of consistent items about family sharing in the um, post results surveys that we're doing at about six months. Some sites are actually going to do an immediate post results disclosure survey where they will also look at the intent to share with family members and begin to um, evaluate that in terms of um, uh, uh, factors that um, can uh, encourage them uh, to follow through on that intent. And then some sites uh, will actually be uh, utilizing a more in-depth uh, survey to um, understand better the uh, uh, sharing that's, that's happening. The specific aim three for our work group is to collect and collate um, points of information at, a, at the system level, um, hoping to provide some guidance for policy making or best practice. Uh, development about family communication. Uh, we're hoping to collect site-specific activities that are planned um, to assess those activities and the factors um, that have led to both the variation among sites but also consistency um, in communication and look at the materials, approaches, and measures of success. And then we may potentially be able to then uh, compare and contrast those uh, methods of contact. So one of the things I wanted to be able to relate is that we've been doing qualitative interviews of um, patients to whom we have returned genomic sequencing results. These aren't eMERGE project results yet, but they are um, a, a population who has been unselected uh, and agreed to participate in our um, Geisinger MyCode Biobank um, Health Initiative. And what we wanted to do was to be able to um, post uh, 
results disclosure about and at about one month post disclosure to go back to these um, patients and do an in depth um, semi structured interview format uh, survey. And the domain, domains that we were looking at had to do with, um, of course, their initial experience with the result, what kinds of medical follow up they did, communication with family or friends. Um, what do they understand the result to mean and where did they go for resources? Um, what types of, of return of results procedures have they taken part in? What were their psychosocial reactions to the result? What have they found to be the financial implications of this result for them? And what was their satisfaction? And so um, these, uh, we've conducted 29 uh, interviews. We've not yet um, coded or evaluated the transcripts. But um, we have taken a, a quick look at um, the summaries post each uh, uh, interview. And I wanted to share with you just that subset of um, uh, issues that came out of the questions regarding family sharing. So what was interesting that in these 29 interviews, all participants had shared with some family members. Um, there were, of course, some family members that participants chose not to share with, and we all anticipate that that's going to be true. Um, it, uh, I'm just getting my time signed, so I'll go through this quickly. Uh, some of the reasons were that family members are too old, family members are too young, uh, and uh, most did use the letter that our team provided them um, in order to communicate with family members. So uh, in terms of each of the sites in eMERGE, these are the, um, a collated collection of the types of themes or domains that they are looking at in terms of uh, the surveys that they intend to send out. Not surprisingly, family communication is on that list as well as empowerment and information sharing. Uh, Kathy already mentioned this group that is um, being put together by Malia, and I'm happy to say Bob is definitely on board with that. Uh, and then as a term in, in uh, response to our outcomes um, portion of this um, familial implications, we wanted to be able to measure, if we could, how successful have we been in reaching relatives. And so we've set, put together um, a list of outcomes that will accompany each of the reporting forms for um, the diseases of the and positive results that come back. And as you can say, we're, we're trying to assess which relatives have been told, um, and then a bit about um, success measures, if we can get at this in terms of number of relatives with positive results, number of, of relatives with negative um, results, uh, and then the reach of the cascade screening within each of the sites. So thank you.